Hey, welcome to SideQuest. I'm Philip, and this is Mike. Hey, Mike, how's it going? I'm well. All right, so today we are going to take a look back at uh, Street Fighter games throughout the years. We're gonna have a battle. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna compete against each other in every Street Fighter one, two, three, four, and five. Um, no alphas. No alpha. Um, and we're gonna start with today, Fighting Street on the Turbo Graphics. Um, what do we know about this game? Uh, that was one of the first home ports to uh, Street Fighter, and for some reason it was called Fighting Street, despite the fact that it was 100% Street Fighter. Yeah, any idea? Why? There's, there's, there's gotta be some weird reason. I, I know that, that, I mean, a lot of the naming conventions from the game came from the original movie Street Fighter, which was uh, the American title of a Japanese Sonny Chiba movie. So there's been a lot of name changing in the series due to legal aspects. Yeah. So that might have been it. But then once Street Fighter Two became huge, I don't think they cared anymore. Yeah. Awesome. Did you play this in the arcade? I remember it in the arcade. It wasn't I too, played it, too thrilling. But... I remember I played it like once or twice in the arcade. It was more of a novelty factor because Street Fighter Two was so big. Like, oh, here's the original one, and you'd be like, eh. yeah, yeah, yep. All right, so let's uh, get going. We're gonna we're gonna go and uh, go on this game here and take a look back at Street Fighter One. It's been a while since I played this. All right. All right. Yeah, Capcom. Who's that guy there? Um, like they, Kyle? I don't know. They had it in the fir the first and second game. Both had those opening. Yeah, with no no people like, at all. In yeah. Them. Okay, so I'm player two, so I'll probably end up being Ken, I guess, right? Automatically, or? Yeah. Okay, are we playing? There we go. England. Yeah. Jolly old England. So Street Fighter, uh, the first one, you see a lot of the tropes from the original fighting games that appear, especially like Karate Champ, where you the characters are identical to each other in their movesets. Um, the only thing is they were a palette swap. So Ryu and Ken, exactly the same. Exactly the same. They're just different colored. And Karate Champ, Karate Champ, um, had a white guy, like a white suited guy and a red suited guy. Okay, so one is punch, two is kick. So yeah, it's it seems near impossible to throw a fireball. Okay, we better get going because we got a timer. You ready? Let's do this. Do you remember uh, the characters in this game? There's not a lot, right? Um, Birdie's in this though. Birdie's right? in this one, and other than Birdie, the only other one I think that's popped up in other series was Gen, and he popped up in Street Fighter. 4. Four. And I think some of, some of the other characters popped up in Alpha as well. Okay, so probably going to throw a lot of fireballs here. Oh, oh, you got a Tatsunoko yeah. going. Or whatever they call them. Spinning kick. Let's see if I can do it again. Can't get any of that stuff to work. I think if I just stay away from you, I'm going to win. Oh. Oh, all right. Round one goes to you. All right. So these are the only two playable characters in this. Only two playable characters, but the big innovation for Street Fighter was the addition of special moves. Fighting games before that didn't really have special input moves. So everybody was playing Karate Champ before this, basically, right? Karate, there was, I mean, there's about two dozen fighting games before this game came out, but they all basically follow the same. It's honestly pattern. hard to even get close to you. Like, yeah. Any kind of movement is pretty difficult in this. Yeah, they don't have dashes, combos, anything like that. I remember I remember playing this. I mean, I played it in the arcade. I, I don't think I played that punch button one, but yeah. I, I played like a regular version I can remember. It that was the more common one. It didn't thrill me or anything, yeah. but obviously I don't think anybody was that into it. Oh, oh well, you got me. Wow. I wasn't even looking at the health bars. All right, so <laughs> that is Fighting Street. All right. What did you think of Street Fighter One? <laughs> I like Street Fighter One. Um, it's a building block for the series, yeah. but it's not one that I care to, you know, revisit. It's a little rough around the edges. Yeah. Turbo Graphics controller is not the best to play that game on. I would say. Mm -hmm. um, Super Nintendo controller is going to be way better. You're going to be way more familiar with it too. Yeah. Oh, we open, we're sharing this great beer here. Uh, it's from Mars Brewery out of Chicago. Um, Mike turned me onto this beer. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. One, what is it? One hot beer. Single hop uh, Citra. Yeah. The double IPA? 
Uh, yep, it's a double IPA. Mm -hmm. Fairly strong, 8%. But um, yeah, Mike showed me this beer uh, when we were out one day, and then the next day I went and cleared the shelf at a local uh, beer store. Took them all. So, yeah. so Street Fighter 2 is what we're gonna play next. A um, lot of big changes in this game. Um, you can actually pick your character now, whereas in Street Fighter 1 you had to play either Ryu or Ken, you're kind of forced into that. Um, let's see, what other big changes did we go to here with Street Fighter 2? Uh, Street Fighter 2, like I said, featured the first uh, choosable characters. Yeah. Um, started adding combos on accident, throws, more special moves, uh, and then eventually added the playable boss characters on, like we had said earlier, the name. Fighting Street being changed. Mm -hmm. uh, another big change in the series was the boss characters in this one. So in the U.S., the final three boss characters are well, four, three of the final four boss characters are Balrog, um, M. Bison, and Vega. Yeah, uh, all they're switched around. Yeah, they're all, all their names got switched around because the original name for Balrog, the boxer, was Mike Bison, and uh, they thought they would have been sued by Mike Tyson. So they just swapped the names of Balrog, which was the Claw, he became Vega, um, Dictator was Vega, and he became M. Bison, and then Boxer was M. Bison, he became Balrog. Yeah. So this was originally called M. Bison's Punch-Out, too. <laughs> awesome. Cool. All right. So let's uh, get going on Street Fighter 2. You actually probably played this in arcades, I would, I would imagine. Yeah. I remember pretty much any time I go anywhere that had a... Arcade machine. Oh, this feels so much better. Yeah. I mean, the, cro the controller feels like not as good quality, really. Like, not as thick, but I mean, the D pad is way better. Video's gonna be filled with a lot of clicking and. I don't remember her buttons. <laughs> hit a hit a like a whole bunch over and over that'll do her kick right. I think that's how it works in this one. And then um, jump up and pull down and a button to do that like head stomp. I think. Oh, was that a oh, almost a double KO? Nice. Oh, double KO! Like we would hit each other at the same time. Mm -hmm. That would be amazing. Never caught on film, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, you and that foot. How do I throw this one? I think like A when you're close or whatever, you know? Oh. No. Oh, man. I don't remember any of the moves in this one. Oh, I thought you were dead. Shit. Yeah. I came back. jump like that every day when I wake up. <laughs> Frost up. I was hoping that was gonna be a dragon punch. Alright, you want to get going on? Oh, we're, next we're going to go to Street Fighter 3, moving right along. Uh, we got the Third Strike Edition, which is uh, apparently everybody's favorite so version of Street Fighter, maybe. but Yeah. Uh, Street Fighter 3 uh, kind of upset a lot of people because it took out almost every person from Street Fighter 2. Um, at the last minute, they did add Ken. Obviously, Ken Ryu. Ken they, Ryu were in they, it. They were in the original version of Street mm -hmm. Fighter 3. They originally weren't going to be in the original version of Street Fighter 3. No wrong. Um, but other than that, it was a brand new cast of characters. Um, so it was a brand new storyline, and Bison had been defeated. There was new bad guys. Alex, who's based off of Hulk Hogan, was mm -hmm. the new... Um, he's ripped rip shirt off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is the new antagonist of the series. And it's also a lot of Final Fight characters 
crossover as well. Um, but then Alpha 3, a lot of people weren't playing Street Fighter 3 because they didn't recognize the characters. So Alpha Street Fighter Alpha 3 brought back a lot of the characters from Street Fighter 2. Uh, and the final version of Street Fighter Alpha 3 came out shortly after uh, this one did. But this one is... Uh, so then Third Strike brought everything the fans wanted back in. And that's Third Strike brought... It brought some of the stuff the fans wanted back in, but it did bring some new characters in and brought like Akuma and people like that. Oh yeah, I love it. Akuma. Actually, I'll probably mm -hmm. play Akuma there. Mm -hmm. um, where Akuma originated from the Alpha series, Alpha 1? No, he was actually in Hyper Fight, Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting. Oh really? Oh, yeah, awesome. he was a secret boss. Oh okay. um, He would, he had to, I don't remember what you had to do, but he would come out and like punch M. Bison and then you would fight against him. Nice. Uh, this also added a new mechanic to the series. Uh, it added parrying. So if you tap forward at the moment you get hit, instead of blocking, you will parry the attack and you knock oh, it back. Wow. Uh, and if you tap down, if it's a low attack, it'll do the exact same thing. Nice, you will see me doing none of that. It's very hard to do if you're not <laughs> used to it. Yeah, the big hits. Screw attack type thing. So this is a big difference between... Yeah. Did, did, did fireballs go through each other right there? Uh, you might have used the EX version of your fireball. Still can't send each other out. I mean, how fluid this is, is like night and day between two now. It's... Do you know, was Dreamcast one of the better versions? Or... Yeah, Dreamcast is like the preferred version. Gonna be a throw at the end of that, or can there be? Um, I did a different version of throw. Wow, that was great. Oh, so we have these max meters. That's when you can do your combo, right? Yeah. So close. Oh. Alright. It's kind of our repeat of Street Fighter 2. Final round. Okay. Nice. <coughs> Were there fight sticks for Dreamcast? Yeah. They're probably only for Dreamcast, used only for Dreamcast, for the for... There you go. No, but I've seen a few of them before. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Okay, so uh, Street Fighter 3, that was great. Sure. What'd you think? Uh, it's a good one. There's a reason why it's so popular. Yeah. A lot of character choices. A lot of character uh, choice. A big, pretty big jump from... I I'm guessing that Street Fighter 3, not Third Strike, is probably uh, the same engine, but this one has more people added. Is it, is it just as fluid? See, Street Fighter 3 had Street Fighter 3, Street Fighter 3, uh, 3 Second Impact, mm -hmm. and Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Okay. Uh, but they were made like after Capcom had been making the Alpha series and then oh, the yeah. Marvel vs. Capcom, Darkstalkers, like they learned a lot of lessons. Yeah. Like it's, it's so fluid them. going from two on the on the SNES to that mm -hmm. one Dreamcast, like how fluid it is. Yeah, that that was the one of the very first like arcade perfect oh, yeah. games to be released. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, now we're going to play Street Fighter Four on the PlayStation Three. Violent. That's pretty impressive. Who I am. Does this have a 3D feel? Uh, yeah. 
It's still it's the first game they had 3D spra characters, but then it was still a 2D. So let's make sure you brought this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. good. Yeah. I'm good. I know Chun Li just had a birthday a couple days ago. Chun Li? Yeah. Because they gave everybody a birthday in these games. Oh, really? Um, so, like, these games, even the modern ones, are still supposed to take place, like, during the 90s. Oh, yeah. Because, um. Yeah, this, I mean, that's like Top Gun stuff, right? So. Yeah, because Guile was added specifically for the American audience. Late 80s. Okay. Yeah. I know Guile was added specifically to like appeal to the uh, US. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's actually like super popular in Japan. Oh, yeah. So then, uh, what's her name? Cammy? Kind of looks like Guile a little bit. I mean, is she. Kyle's. Like, is she Cam, Army she's type? British. Okay. She, um. Yeah, she's part of the British Secret Force. Oh, yeah. She was added in. What's she? Championship Edition? She started in like Alpha Series. Or... She was in the Alpha Series. Alpha had an interesting side note of why they added so many characters from two, mm -hmm. like after, like in one of the later iterations of it. Yeah, awesome. Do you know all what? Is Alpha like a whole side story? Or Alpha takes place in between Street Fighter One and Street Fighter Two, mm -hmm. which is why it has a lot of the Final Fight characters. Oh, because okay. Final Fight was originally called Street Fighter Eighty Nine. Yeah, yeah. Because it was yeah. supposed to be a sequel to Street Fighter, mm -hmm. um, but. Like arcade owners didn't want that because Street Fighter was making so much money. They didn't want to suck the people into that, so they spun it off to their own series. Which is why there's uh, so many year gap between Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter 2. Mm -hmm. Street Fighter 2 came out in 1991, and Street Fighter 1 came out in 1987. Right. So there was a four year gap between. Yeah, yeah, uh, tell me the first. Oh, nice. <laughs> March 1st. Oh, how old is she? What did it say? 88? Uh, no, 1960. Oh, in 60? Yeah. Oh, wow. And she's in Street Fighter, Street Fighter 5? And... She's in Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5. The timeline for the Street Fighter series is all sorts of weird. Does she look like 60-something years old? No, but it's supposed to take place in, like, in the 90s. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, so it never, yeah, it's, it never it, progresses. It doesn't progress. Yeah. Was Street Fighter 4? Any comments on it? Uh, I like Street Fighter 4. I wasn't huge into Street Fighter 4, but I did start playing it. Um, probably only about a year or two ago. Um, a lot of characters. <laughs> I like that Evil Ryu. Was he in other games? Or? Uh, I think he was in one of the Alpha games. I can't remember. Yeah, that's cool. Ripping the heart out. Mm -hmm. Nice touch. Cool. So uh, what are we going to do now? We got Street Fighter V, the newest one. Uh, it's the first Street Fighter that did not come out in arcades. So it was made yeah. exclusively for the PlayStation 4 and for the PC. Um, they are supposed to be adding an arcade mode to the game. But uh, it's got a lot of elements from the old games, some of the elements from the new games, and like all the other games, it does have new features. Uh, I'll show you to whatever character you pick. You now have what they call the V system. So each character has some kind of individual thing that they can do just by pushing two of the buttons at the same time. Like oh, Dol two, two yeah, buttons? Yeah. yeah, like Dawson floats in the air. Oh, wow. Ryu cool. does the parries from Street Fighter Three. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've actually never played Five, so this will be the first time I've ever played it. All right, this is going. Mm -hmm. you, got, you ready? Yeah. All right, we're using fight sticks again, which is super fun and noisy. If you Nash, my way. who, if you remember the movie, he was named Charlie in the movie. Guile's buddy that he was trying to get. Of my destiny. Uh, the, the new character from this game, fight. all the ones on the outside, so Rashid, uh -huh. Laura, Fong, yeah. and Nikali are all the new characters. Oh, this is these are brand new? Yeah. How does, uh, how does this guy play, Nash? Nash, he's... Rush down, he has a lot of like anti projectile type stuff. His V skill eats fireballs. I usually play Birdie, so I don't know if I'll play Birdie. Where's the Guile? Guile's in this? Not yet. He'll be in it soon. 
Because Gotta Learn is missing from a... All right, what does the loser get? Well, well, we talked about the loser would have to watch the the what the live action movie, but we, we figured that wasn't fair to anyone to have to watch that. So. Well, I mean, Raw Julia is great in that movie, but that's literally the only thing that's no, yeah. acceptable. About I can't it. remember anything for that movie. <laughs> Hopefully, I lose and maybe I'll go and torture Surprise myself and watch it. Yeah. Who do you think like a like pro super pro players like what do you think their preferred characters are? Uh, it depends on the player. I know that there's... so it is no like set. yeah. M Bison right now is like super popular. But I know like one of the best ranked players in the world in the U.S. especially is actually a Zangief player. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But Daigo Umahara, who's like considered to be like the best player, he pretty much only plays for IU. Is he famous? Like in Street Fighter? Yeah. yeah. He plays Ryu every time? Mm -hmm. so it seems kind of cheap to me. I mean, like, everybody can play those characters. Of course, I always play them, you know? Like, I can't really play other characters. I can play Chung Li, maybe. Um, well, Birdie looks really good. What's your favorite game in all in all the series? Um, the five now because you're playing five. I like so five a lot. Yeah. Yeah. The three, what I've played of, is one of my favorites. Yeah. I haven't sat there's down with it too much. There's some controversy with five, right? Like something about arcade mode, or I don't know much about. There it. is no arcade mode on it right oh, now. Okay. Yeah, so. but they're probably adding it. Yeah, with the DLC. Mm -hmm. Cool, so that was great. Mm -hmm. First time playing Street Fighter V. I mm -hmm. thought it was really good. I have to pick it up soon. Um, Street Fighter V, all right. What do, you, what do you think about V so far? You've been playing it quite a bit, right? Yeah, I've been Online playing it a decent amount. Awesome. I like it a lot, but if you jump and kick, you can win. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> What's maybe your favorite out of all the five of these games we played? Um, I can't pick a favorite. I like three and five probably the most out of the two of them, out of the five. Yeah, well, obviously we're not gonna pick number one, I would say, <laughs> but it's really fun to go back and check that out. Like see where it all came from. That's for sure. Yeah, I'd like to find an arcade machine just mm -hmm. to play it, and especially with those punch buttons. That yeah. Would, that would be really cool. All right, so that was our um, retro, our retrospective of uh, Street Fighter games. Uh, we went through and we played all five Street Fighter games. Mm -hmm. Some of them here. Cool. Anything else? I think that's it for now. All right, cool. Thanks um, for watching. Yeah. Subscribe, like it, hopefully, and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Should we do anything different? Any, any add anything? Or? No, I don't have to give anything else but uh, add in. <laughs>